skull. And welcome to what we think is the first ever Valheim tournament. We haven't double checked to make sure that that's true, but we've been saying it to everybody. That's because it is true. Hopefully it will be at least. Uh, we're really excited about doing this. Obviously it's a completely new thing. And uh, we've got eight contestants here and they're ready to fight to the death. For and the every, every single person, pretty much including all of the contestants has been like, uh, hey, what the heck are the rules? How the heck do you do a Valheim tournament? I think that we came up with one of the best possible ways to do this. And now we're going to go over all of the rules with everybody here. So you guys know exactly how everything is going to go down, man. This beard is terrible, but yeah. this rule set is fantastic. As you can see right now, eight streamers, like Asma mentioned, they only have one life. So if they die to like a two star wolf, like, I don't know, like an absolute God gamer might, they're done. If they die to a tree, like somebody like me might, they're also going to be done. They're going to have to stay safe and make sure they don't die to trees or anything like that. you know. Or trolls, or which trolls. is basically what all Twitch streamers have to deal with every single day. So they yeah. should be prepared for that at the very least. But during the first two hours, they do not need to worry about each other. As you can see right now, we have the entire map, which is going to be that prep area. They're allowed to get ready as long as they stay within the area that you do see on your screen. Now, uh, you might be saying, wow, this is like the most fantastic starting area you could possibly have in Valheim. How the heck did you guys figure this out? We got Peckies, Wajito, JP, a whole bunch of people working behind the scenes to actually make this possible. And they did the unthinkable to find this perfect seed. They actually Googled best Valheim seeds to have a speed run on. I know it's incredible that they managed to figure it out, but El Shokas apparently also found the seed and he's been looking on it on stream. So he has a huge head start. Well, hey, you got to be smart, man. Uh, we didn't say you couldn't do it. So he's doing it. I, I, I appreciate the hustle. I respect I it. I appreciate it as well. And I'm really excited to see what everybody's going to be able to do during those first two hours of actually getting everything prepped. And we'll be talking about that a whole bunch. One of the added bonuses that we're also going to be throwing your way and you guys are going to be able to be involved in it as well. We are going to be dropping resources on random locations on the map. Now that could be something like a food item or it could be something like a weapon or a piece of armor. They'll get dropped in random places and everybody who is watching, you'll be able to vote on what is going to get dropped when. Yep, we're going to be doing the uh, the Twitch polls and people are going to be able to vote on the item that we drop for the players. Now, obviously, where we drop it is going to be random, but the item itself is going to be uh, chosen by you for many of the cases. Now, obviously, at the beginning, we're probably going to drop some deer hide, you know, some real basic stuff. But once the PvP begins, once the real shit starts happening, that's whenever we're going to see weapons start dropping, armor stop dropping, and start dropping, and all kinds of other crazy stuff happening yeah and guys just so you know i'm not in charge of anything with the drops with is actually going to be doing all the drop locations otherwise i would be giving fandy all of my gold but as you can see after the two hour mark is hit we're actually going to have pvp enabled you are going to hear the epic sound of the war horn blow and everybody is going to be able to actually start the pvp period and they're going to be able to start going for the kills we're going to lob off part of the island so everybody's going to be in close quarters and as you can see asmin there are a lot of choke points on the map yeah i'm pretty excited to see how this is going to go i mean i don't even know like what the meta for this game's pvp is really going to be and i'm really kind of curious to see how people are going to approach it knowing that it's just going to be a completely uh unknown experience i think that's probably what's so exciting about it is to see what the possibilities really are going to be yeah, we're very excited. I'm pretty sure uh, Bo took a shower for this stream. Who did? Uh, one of I took a shower. Uh, oh wow! Because I, I was I was so excited, and I wanted to be very presentable because we have a great cast of folks who are going to be going head to head. Let's actually take a look at the eight streamers who are going to be competing. Stay safe. This guy's pretty much. Uh, I I'm pretty sure he's going to lose within the first five minutes. So yeah. we probably shouldn't spend too much time talking about him. I think he spent more time getting ready for the stream and putting on his makeup than he will actually be competing. Hey, it is what it is. Um, we, uh, you know, we watched a little bit of prep and uh, let's just say he's really experienced with trolls. <laughs> he's very experienced I'm with not trolls. not talking about the ones in Classic WoW either. <laughs> not good. 
I, I, you know, we already mentioned El Shok as being involved. So him and Tips uh, apparently have known each other for a very long time. And this is one of the first times I've really gotten to do anything on Twitch with sh somebody who is, is not an English speaking streamer primarily. And, and Twitch feels very international. But Asmin, this is one of the things where it really does feel like uh, you, you said uh, it feels like we've stepped into a new dimension. Yeah, it's like you see all these other streamers that have like these huge communities, all of these fans, and we never really talk to them because of the language barrier. It's like they're existing in an alternate dimension. So this is a little bit of a crossover that we're excited to see. And uh, also I'm excited to see kind of how everybody's going to use their different, uh, you know, like what the different approaches are going to be in terms of strategy, et cetera. Uh, that's what I, I'm really excited to see. Yeah, and I, I think it really does open up like a lot of really cool opportunities now that we're getting to meet some of these other people. Maybe I'll even get Dono walled in different languages. So well, we now need to talk about how everybody is going to be getting some prizes. We have not actually talked about the prize pool publicly at all. I really like what, what Asmin came up with this idea. Basically, every single kill that somebody gets 20 gifted subs so it, even if you just pull down one kill you're still going to be able to get 20 gifted subs and that's going to keep the action going throughout the entirety of that pvp section of the tournament and then for whoever gets the most kills they will get 100 gifted subs last man standing also going to get 100 gifted subs so in theory one person could win all 340 gifted subs unlikely but possible and uh i don't know i think that'd be pretty insane that would be a crazy blowout do we want to talk about all the other contestants that we've got we've only got through two people so uh i'd like all the uh the viewers to be able to meet who's playing yeah let's actually talk about everybody who is going to be in the tournament so we, we already talked about show we talked about stay safe L let's talk about sequisha a little bit Sequisha, I mean, I, I've been watching Sequisha for quite a while, and it, it, he always has some of the chillest, most enjoyable, relaxing streams. And I saw him play in this game, and I've tuned in a number of times over the past like couple of weeks or so, and I'm really excited to see what he's going to be able to bring to the table. I, I am. I, I'm kind of... Uh, I, I'll be honest. I've, I've always... I don't know if he knows who I am, but yeah. I've always had a little bit of a, a love-hate relationship with him. I, I, I look at his mustache. You jealous? And I, it makes me feel really insecure about myself. Yeah, I and, can see why. And it really doesn't make me feel very, very good uh, every time I see him. And yeah, we'll see. If he wins this tournament too, I'm really going to feel inferior. Yeah, it's going to be uh, just insult to injury, right? It really would be. Not only does he have a better mustache, but then he comes on my stream and he just <laughs> takes yeah. all my takes all my money. It's like, wow, man, absolute domination. Now, we also do have uh, some other competitors who have been really focused on the Valheim side of things. Like, uh, you know, we, we mentioned a few people that you may know we've known for a very long time, maybe from World of Warcraft. I, I think like a lot of the, the folks here we've known for a long time from World of Warcraft. But we haven't talked about Clean at all. And Clean is somebody who has been playing this game has been playing Valheim to the top level, Asman. I'm really expecting to see a really good showing out of clean. Uh, I've seen him playing on like PVP servers and uh, he's been putting in serious hours into this game, like beyond just like the hype period, just playing it and grinding it. I, uh, I really expect to see a, I expect to see greatness. Clean might, might clean up all the competition. I think there is a really a very real chance that clean might be the favorite going into this one because not only has clean put a lot of hours in this game, which, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of people put hours and hours into this game, but there are so many different things that you can do in Valheim. One of the things that clean has been doing is actually playing on a PVP server. And not many people have put the hours into that. Like, uh, what, one of the interesting things with being friends with you, Asmin, is you just uh, randomly will call me on Discord and stream to me only when there are thousands of other people who want to watch your stream. But for some reason, you won't. You only stream to me. So I've watched you play the game, and I've never seen you PvP. I don't even know how. Like, oh, I know how you. I know you, you have to turn it on. I'm aware of that. But Same thing with your stream. <laughs> yeah, I, I still don't know how. Yeah, exactly. It's a really good point. Yeah, so it's, six it's, more days. Six more it's days. Complicated. Five actually. Wait, what? Yeah, it's uh, cause um, uh, uh, e. Yeah, I mean, if you conclude today, yeah, it's like five or six, depending on how you count it. It's next Tuesday, okay? It's next Tuesday. Pog. Pog. I, will also, I will also be live that day after after he's done. 
That's crazy. What a coincidence. Well, I think it's a pretty good idea. You know what else I think is a good idea? Having Fandy what? in the tournament, and we do. Yeah, we do. Absolutely. We saw she was playing the game, and uh, we're excited to see how uh, how she's going to do, honestly. I, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm really kind of curious. I, I am very curious as well. You yeah. know, Fandy has been playing a lot of WoW. Like yeah. a lot, a lot of while. Every time I go into Fandy stream, Fandy's playing WoW. So we'll yeah. have to see how many hours she's really got in Valheim. And I, I think that uh, you know she's got she's got a really good chance of. Uh, I, I'm curious to see how she starts, and that's something that we kind of haven't talked about too much is what those start strategies are going to be. But yeah. we'll start to talk about them soon after we actually uh, kind of announce everybody who's going to be in the tournament. Yeah, well, next we also got, uh, also on top of WoW, we got uh, Annie Fuchsia. She's going to be in the tournament as well. She's been playing Valheim. And uh, again, I think this is going to be, a, it's going to be a pretty interesting showing. I, um, I'm i not really sure how many of them have gone all the way to end game and played all the way through the game. I think many of them have. But uh, I'm actually, what Rich said before, I'm really excited to see what they're what their beginning strategies are going to be, how they're going to go about it. Are they going to try to rush iron or silver? Are they going to try to like, you know, get all the consumables possible and farm out the best food because they've only got a two hour window. And I think that's, what's going to be really cool to see. I'm curious if anybody makes an alliance. Like we, we keep talking about all of the folks who potentially know each other from wow. I'm curious if anybody actually just, tries to team up with another player uh especially during that that final two hour pvp mark kala as well somebody that we've known for a very long time from yeah. the, the world of warcraft side of things and kala actually when we made the announcement that we were doing the tournament kala was like put me in i have been playing this game for hours and hours and hours so i think kala there, there's a very real chance that he is going to be one of those players who has a lot of experience in the end game I think that's what I'm most excited to see is uh, like I've played the game myself. I've watched other people play the game, but whenever push comes to shove, whenever you have your two hour window, what is the strategy that people choose to use? Where do they go? What do they want to do? And I think that's going to be really cool to see. And uh, I, I think this is our, our last person as well is Armora. Now, I remember watching her maybe like two weeks ago or so, right whenever I first began the game. And she was just killing the fourth boss, the Dragon Boss Motor. And I, I was actually quite intimidated by uh, by how, how big the game was because I thought it was just running around in the forest at that point. And uh, it goes without saying, or I think actually I've kind of already said it, that she's played the game a lot. She's got a lot of experience. She was even playing hardcore Valheim and uh, I think that you know we could also see a really good showing from her as well yeah I, I definitely agree and when we first start talking about doing this Valheim tournament I mean you were the one who actually convinced me to play Valheim and you were yeah. like yo this game so and the, the first thing that I thought was like how the heck would we actually be able to pull off a tournament what would we actually do and then uh you know we we put in the work that you need to do which involves not streaming not yep. putting on anything but the same shirt not showering and just sitting down and playing the game for hundreds and hundreds of hours and that's exactly what we did and when i popped it's in not to, easy guys it's not it's hard work it's hard yeah. work and uh you know what i thought was really crazy when i went in to Mora's stream she was yeah. doing something that I had never seen anybody do well and that her garden the amount of food that she was actually producing was crazy so like food is important especially in a tournament like this and this was even before we saw stuff getting started i wasn't sure if it was on a speed run world or if it was on her main account she had a big garden already and i'm curious if that's something that maybe somebody goes for to actually have that top tier food for fighting when we do get to the pvp section of the game well, now that we've uh, we've gotten out all the contestants, uh, we can talk a little bit about some of the strats and kind of get into it. I, I don't really think that we'll see a whole lot of, uh, of gardening because obviously the garden, it takes time for the plants to become plants. And uh, in, the, in the time frame of that, uh, you could be doing five or six other things and the preparation that it takes to make the cultivator, that it takes to till the soil, that it takes to uh, micromanage all of those things, that's going to be a lot of work. And especially because bronze, I think that you make the cultivator with bronze. Uh, bronze is very hard to make because of the, the nature of getting copper and also tin at the same time. I, I don't really think that we'll see a whole lot of gardening, but 
if we do, I'll be interested to see where it goes. I think that there is a level of unknown that does make yeah. it very exciting. But with that, we are ready to get it started. Yeah, All of our players that's right here. are here. Should I do it? Should I sound the horn of war? Gentlemen, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who's come here and been part of the first ever Valheim tournament hosted by OTK. Thank you guys very much. We appreciate it. Rich, take it away. The very forest shall tremble as the horde of war is sounded. Yeah! 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 That's pretty good, huh? I've been practicing. Okay, I'll show because his AFK. I guess he's looking up the seat a little bit more. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's looking it up, trying to figure out where all the different nodes are at. That's great. And we've got a fr we've got a five minute timer, by the way. The four minute timer, you guys can see, it's right there on the screen. Uh, we didn't really know how much the scaling was going to be whenever we had eight people on there. So this was kind of a it was kind of something that we kind of had to play test live. And now that we know it, we think that what's going to be the most fair is to give everybody that five minute grace period to get separated out to where they're not fighting mobs that are artificially overtuned because of more people in the area and to where everybody has a fighting chance to make their base and actually start competing in the tournament. And now after, you know, that initial chaos is over, we're starting to see everybody spread out. Armora is picking up rocks, getting sticks. She's already got herself a, uh, a stone axe made, level one axe skill as well already and you're going to see people now at this point starting to spread apart and actually start making their bases and building themselves up and um how many bosses i was some pretty interesting question here how many bosses do you guys think that they're going to kill yeah i i think that that's one of the things that's really interesting and i think one of the other things that you start to think about very early too is do you think that they're really going to need to build anything like you, you see fandy right now in a structure that that obviously already existed on the world but asman do you think that they really need to build much at all i uh, i mean like not really and honestly like that's actually a 500 iq idea just going and taking some other random base and then just building into that and saving yep. your time that's really smart i never thought of that and this is exactly what i was talking about before with like how cool it's going to be to be able to see the way that other people are playing the game and the differences between them you see clean not only put down a workbench inside one of these buildings but he also put down the workbench underneath the uh, uh underneath the roof so he was automatically under shelter which allowed him to repair all of the rest of the building and actually start building things and crafting what he needs to make in order to start building Building along with his base and that is in, in my opinion a great idea breaking down that uh that bed there to where he can start doing that as well fandy's doing the exact same thing crafting all the stuff that they need to craft and this is already kind of interesting to see like what the different approaches are going to be um i personally think that we're probably going to see probably everybody i would assume is going to have to kill the first boss now the reason why i think everybody is going to have to kill the first boss is because the first boss drops the antlers that are required in order to make a pickaxe now, now so but here's the, here's the other thing that i will uh, kind of allude to though yeah I, i'm not 100 percent sure about this right. now if somebody else kills the boss on this world like if one person kills the boss then they put the head up then anybody can get the power right I'm not really sure how that works, actually, but it's not really about the power at all. It's actually about the way that, um, uh, it, it's actually about the way that the antlers work. So whenever you kill uh, Ekthir or whatever his name is, uh, you, I get, I think you get two to three hard antlers, and those hard antlers Jesus are the Christ first weight that you're able to actually make a pickaxe to mine bronze yeah, and to mine tin. So that's why it's so important to do that. Now, in order to summon Exthir, uh, it's actually pretty simple. All you really need to do is just get a few uh, deer trophies that you get, obviously, from deer. I think they always drop from the level to deer. And again, guys, uh, the timer that we've got right above us in just 40 or so, 
the grace period is going to be over and we're actually going to see yep. these deaths yeah, count for real now trade. obviously with the increased uh difficulty of the different uh different bosses and everything Which I think and like that could also enough. translate over i mean to the bosses with the different mobs as well we could yeah, see a little bit of people trying to play it safe on, on going immediately into that first boss and just seeing how other people are flying it out. You see I love, uh, there, uh, I, I just wanted to get already just quick. chilling. Now let me explain why he's just chilling here. If you see that resting yeah. debuff, comfort one. Now the way comfort works in this game is basically the more comfort you have whenever you're resting, the longer your rested buff is going to be. So the rested buff increases the amount of uh, your stamina regeneration, and it makes your stamina regeneration faster. So it's absolutely important, especially in these early points in the game, in order for people to get that stamina regeneration as high as possible, so they're able to just perform more actions more quickly, because again, this is a time-constrained run. A, a lot of this entry-level AI, I mean, you can see these gray dwarfs, I mean, they're not necessarily necessarily the smartest things in the game and uh obviously it's going to be pretty easy clean goes down to two out. health that was really risky two health that was really risky he has oh not broken God. he has not broken a sweat though that look was, how calm clean. he is that was <laughs> It was definitely clean. Now, I yeah. do want to say we're going to start like doing drops soon. And this is one of the things that I'm most excited about. I'm uh, so worried about we're going too close to the fire. <laughs> yeah, imagine dying to the fire. That's also something that people can do. It was one of the first things that we talked about is people could set traps, right? You could find somebody and you could actually, you know, you could put some wood over uh, a pit with fireplaces in it. And you can actually try to trap people in that. Uh, so they fall to their death. Obviously, you can't do it during the, the PvP portion but you know when we get a little bit later on into the game and we actually do see everybody starting to do that dance of death uh, going doing that do -si do they can actually use traps but let's take a look at the first supply drop that is happening you can see that there's the ping on the map right now we're going to have our first drop each time we're going to be dropping a chest and it will have something in it now when we get to the pvp portion and we're already two hours in those drops are going to be quite juicy and we might see some very very important items whether it is a weapon whether it is some really strong food right now i'm assuming that it's not going to be anything too powerful also we're going to allow you guys to vote uh but as we get into some of those mid-game drops for what i want to give you guys an idea what it's going to look like there's just going to be a chest out on the map people whoever gets there first gets whatever is in it uh obviously the supply drops are going to become more and more uh important and it kind of goes without saying that the first ones are going to be pretty easy and uh, not really that uh that much of a big deal it's just going to take a little bit of time for uh uh, us to get to the point where we think that it's about time to really drop them some good shit. And uh, we see obviously people starting to build. Uh, El Shoka is starting to finally get his uh, his workshop down. A little bit behind everybody else, but again, this is a two-hour event. And anybody who's a little bit behind now, it's not really that big of a deal considering how long this uh, th this prep period is going to be. A and I do think that we're going to see people really start to flesh out what their strategy is supposed to be. And uh, we're oh. seeing Kala there. Kala, oh man. Very I, I, close. Very what, close. What is his health? <laughs> we can what drop onto Kala's POV, but he actually managed to get the supply drop. Um, God. Dude, Kala, he, he's yeah. playing a little bit riskier after falling on his back foot to start things off in the tournament. We get a little bit of a peek into Shokas inventory there to see what Shokas is actually going to have at his disposal. You can see that early game food. He's going to have the mushrooms. He's going to have the various things. You can see Kala right now is going to have 70 health. He is going to be nice. I mean, he's got already three food buffs. He's eating the mushrooms. He's eating the strawberries. I think they're actually raspberries. And he's already got cooked food. Kala is probably going to be going for the strat of buffs. So one of the things that a lot of you guys need to understand is that each of the different types of food in the game does give its own unique amount of stamina and also health, as well as a unique duration. So, for example, uh, there is the high-level food in the game that gives something like 80 stamina and 80 health with a 10-minute duration. 
or a 30 minute duration. Now, obviously we're probably not gonna see a whole lot of serpent stews in this tournament here, but what we will see is some more cooked meat and okay. also maybe even depending on if people try to get to the swamp area, we might see a little bit of sausages as well. So investing into good food is extremely important because it effectively increases your active and available health pool. Now on top of that, go ahead. Yeah, not just that, right? I think one of the, the things that we'll really see once we start getting to PvP, it's a lot of stamina management. So if you are going to have food that's going to give you the additional stamina, all of a sudden you're going to be able to get an extra swing and you're going to be able to get an extra shot in. So I think some of those late game drops as well, Asmin, once we really get into the PvP portions, we might even yeah. be dropping crazy stuff like maybe one fish wrap, maybe one serpent stew, because that's going to be something that puts you way further ahead in the fight oh, yeah. than a weapon even does. Oh yeah, the obviously. Again, they're like, wow, Fanny's not playing and the drop, by the way, guys, for anybody who uh, who was curious about oh, what it was, shit. the drop this was miracle. 20 honey and 10 flint. Tengo que, tengo que... Now flint is really, tengo really important in the eh, early game jabalíes. because the only way that you can única, get flint is, is going to be on the edges sí, sí, of, the, uh, of the water jabalíes. there. You can go right. along the, uh, the edge jabalíes. there and pick up some of the flint. And honey as Así well el... is extremely jabalíes. valuable early game. It's one of the most potent and most effective jabalíes. early game jabalíes. foods. Jabalíes. And jabalíes. on top of that, we saw this a little bit earlier with Amora. She was able to find a beehive and actually destroy the beehive. Now. Whenever you destroy a beehive, inside every single beehive is one queen bee. Like if you take that queen bee and you uh, if you take Another that drop bee and then you're able to uh, to turn it into a beehive, that beehive infinitely produces honey for you. Like yeah. collecting, and this is a, a little bit of an advice if you if you're playing Valheim or you're looking at playing Valheim, keep those queen bees. They are so valuable. They are so important. And honey also in, in the late game is useful for making other types of potions and other types of food as well. So if honey has one all throughout the entire tournament. If you get one, never let her go. Uh, and I can say it is so hard to find uh, a queen. It's so hard to find a queen bee. And uh, really, you, you got to treat her right because it's going to put you in such a better place in the game. Cranking out two to three honey every single day. Man, I, I love. I, I wish I ha had some honey, a little bit of sugar. But as you can see, Kala is going to have that right now. Already has managed to get that honey from the drop. We're going to be keeping our eyes on future drops as well. I do want to take a larger view at the map. We've already talked about the map and how interesting this map really is. Asmin talked about the fact that there are going to be bosses that are just going to be at their disposal right now. If anybody wants to take down any boss that is going to be popping. Oh, let's see Sequisha pick up this supply drop too. He's going right over to it. I mean, this is one that was just right next to him. He got really lucky here. It's right on the edge. Let's go ahead and see what's inside of this supply drop. And, oh, did uh, somebody? Oh, that's what you know. Next that's to supply you. drop. And uh, <laughs> our frame right there. What was in the, what was in the box? Because we couldn't see it. He got some honey there. Yeah, he, he got, got some honey. honey. Okay, yeah. great. He took the wood as well. Yeah. It was like, I'm doing a workbench. We're going to take that wood. Okay. But yeah, this is going to be the thing. same thing right. to get stuff started off. We're going to have a little yep. bit of flint and a little bit of honey. Some of these early game drops are going to give them just a, a smaller advantage. One of the things with flint that drove me nuts in the early game too, Asmin, is that stuff is actually just so heavy. Yeah, How much flint do you really feel like you do need <laughs> to get stuff started off for, for some things like your flint axe? I think you need like 30 or so uh, for pretty much everything. And um, the thing is, that's also another really interesting element of this tournament is that obviously you're, you're going to see a lot of, uh, of resource competition that you don't naturally or normally see whenever you see somebody playing just on their own. And right here, you can take a look at the map here. And we've got obviously the uh, right there where you see that little uh, that little horn there where it says Ekthir. Ekthir is the first boss in the game. That is the deer boss. And every player in the game spawned right above Ekthir at, I guess, kind of like what that altar semi looks like yeah. at the uh, little bit of above that and to the right. And so you're going to see people spread around all around this area. Now we've got a number of different biomes in this uh, in this game, and what biomes mean 
is biomes are basically different zones and different ecologies of the area. So the first biome that players always start in is called the meadows. The meadows is the easy biome. It's got boars, it's got deer, it's got necks, and it's got graylings, okay? There's almost nothing that's going to kill you inside of the meadows biome. Now, the second one that we're going to be looking at there, and by the way, that's what happens if you try to destroy the uh, the beehive right before you're, uh, you're you're done with everything else. You've actually uh, you haven't waited for the poison to go away. If you go to a beehive too fast, it will actually start Don't poisoning you. So you have to be very careful with that. Uh, oh, yeah. we already have somebody summoning Ekthir right now. Oh my now. god, Amora already Amora did it? already summoning Ekthir. Ekthir is about to spawn. She's going to get the first attack of opportunity right there. And we're going to see that going off. As soon as he spawns, he's gonna, she's going to shoot her. There we go. That's a lot of damage on Ekthir. Well, she's chunking Ekthir no, as well. Yeah, and he's about to chunk her. So Ekthir has a number of different abilities. So one of the main abilities that he has is he shoots with his antlers a direct burst of electric damage. Now, this direct burst of electric damage does a nominal amount of health. It's not a, a whole lot, but there is a good amount of damage that you have to deal with. And also on top of that, if you get too close to him, he can also uh, raise his two uh, who's up right there, as you guys can see. And that is the front attack. But if you are close to him and he does that and you're not directly in front of him, that means that he's actually going to be casting an AOE explosion all the way around him that also does magic damage as well. Now, right now, what Amora is trying to do is she's trying to bait out different attacks. That was the AOE explosion, by the way. Uh, bait out different attacks to make some distance with Ekthir. And also, he, of course, has that headbutt ability that you guys just saw right there now obviously there's going to be the electric she rolled directly out of it she wouldn't have gotten hit by it anyway but it's always safe than sorry and uh we see obviously uh you know El oh, oh. is coming up there trying to see what's going on and um amora i'm impressed is already working on this first boss getting the bows up to six and again the bow speed is really really important and wait our circus is running in right now he's gonna get right up behind that deer and hit it in his ass he's got his mallet and we still do see that like you said oh, we just okay. got hit there yeah he did uh, and amora didn't get hit at all say what amora did not get hit at all he was not taking like any damage press i I, I I died to this boss the first time I fought him, so um, you know I, I'm I'm definitely impressed there. We see a little bit of damage uh, now. Obviously, but who's gonna get the loot? Who's gonna get the loot? Uh, I have no idea. And um, Ekthir obviously is uh, fighting Amora. I think that this is gonna be pretty much a for sure kill by Amora, and. Um, it, it's yeah this is a guaranteed kill now i you can see amora getting a little bit closer to the boss because they don't know what's going to happen whenever we actually go into and i think did she run out of arrows right there uh, no I, okay i for a second i thought she did because she stopped shooting okay there we go she, oh, and she's, she's gonna get right on top of his ass dude she is right on top of his ass ready to pick it up oh my god loot goblins Wait, 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 she got it all. She got it all. She got all of it. Uh, wait, did Elshokas? Wait, wait, wait. Did Elshokas? He did it too. So I think that it... Yeah, so I think basically how it works is when when the boss actually gets taken down, yeah, both of them were able to grab a little bit of the loot, which means both of them are going to be so far ahead. They're going to be able to actually make this pickaxe nice and early. And they're... Yeah. Let, me, let me talk a little bit about why these hard antlers are so important. So every single time that you kill Ekthir, I believe he drops three hard antlers. And Every single hard antler is a one-to-one. -one. You use one hard antler, and that creates the antler pickaxe. The antler pickaxe is so important. The reason why it's so important is that it allows you to actually mine material. Now, the main types of material that we're going to be looking at mining here is going to be uh, tin and also copper. Now, as soon as this is over, we're probably going to see Armora moving a little bit more into the Black Forest. And that's where she's going to start. Oh, we've got a skeleton coming in here on Sequisha. Skeletons are pretty deadly this early in the game. We're obviously going to see a stagger right yeah, now. Right now, for those of you guys who don't really sense. know a whole lot about oh, the game, I want to explain yeah. why the different colors of the numbers yeah. are on there. So I'm for every different spot. type of weapon and, and every different type of uh, magic it's skill totally school, so I'm talking spirit damage, that. fire damage, frost damage, and that kind of stuff, um, each different type of damage, uh, each mob has a certain vulnerability and also a certain resistance to. So, for example, uh, there are, uh, I know like the Elder, which is the second boss, has a vulnerability to fire because guess what? He's a tree. Um, also on top of Oh, Fandy. 
Is she going to go for it? No, it's, no, no. There's no not. reason to. There's, no, no. She's looking at him. Boy, look at him. That's oh, not. Oh, I'm, not, I, I'm worried. Big boy. No, she's not going to do it. Worried. She's not going to do it. There, there really isn't any reason to right now to go for it. I mean. That is scary. So. Oh, oh wait. Oh, he's gosh. running at her. Oh, no. no. Oh, Fanny, what's she going to do? Oh, oh no. Oh, you have no, to hide. No, no, he no, sees no. you. It's this isn't this isn't Assassin's off? Creed. You can't just go behind your line of sight. Oh, okay, yeah, she's gotta oh, run. God. So if she gets hit oh, by God. any of this guy's attacks, it's game over for Fandy. One hit and she's dead. Now I really hope she doesn't go in here. I wait, really hope she wait, doesn't don't, go, don't go in there. there. I really hope she doesn't okay. go in the troll cave. Oh my god. Okay. Wait, wait, no, the, the troll the troll isn't it, it doesn't aggro you instantly, right? Sometimes sometimes both of them can be there. Sometimes the troll is outside of his cave. Oh please don't be on top of him. I gotta go. Oh, no, 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 you can no, no, see no, the no, rumbles. No, no, no. She she got like two mushrooms and now she's just oh, got to get out of dodge. This troll's still aggroed on her, throwing a couple of rocks. Oh, she's running away. Are not that no. valuable. It's not she worth the risk so at all. Yeah, yeah. This is so dangerous, guys. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, the troll's early game. Listen, if you're playing this game, oh, it's going to hit her. It, it's actually 100% going to hit her. Wait. Oh, is this the same this troll is, that was fighting? Okay. I'm not a. I, 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 I think that this is a separate troll. I, fighting the trolls this early on not is super idea. important because oh, obviously trolls oh. are a. Uh, uh, they're, they're a very scarce commodity. And the reason why I say commodity is because trolls and troll hide is used to make arguably some of the best armor in the game, especially because that armor does not require you to actually have a movement speed reduction. So for anybody, that doesn't know troll armor uh, yeah, the four piece bonus though. increases your sneak which is mostly a pve thing not really as important in pvp but what is important is the idea uh -huh. of being able Yoink. to move around with this high level armor i think troll armor starts at a base of four Yoink. or a base of uh five or something i think it's four and Thank and we also we're seeing cool. uh we're gonna have the next drop in just a minute here <laughs> and the next drop is going to be three deer trophies you, and also one healing potion so we're gonna see that happening very very soon and uh, obviously fandy oh man she fandy still got that troll right there one of oh the things God. i'll say as well oh, in this, this game is, this, is, this is giving me anxiety just looking can we go back to fandy i i, I want to see I, I, I want to see if she's going to survive. I cannot wait. I, I really think that there's just going to be a giant log from behind that just crushes what? her from this troll. Because she has gonna... no fear. I, I swear, yeah, the only I, thing that will ever kill you with like a I, troll yeah, or anything yeah, like yeah, that yeah, is if a random yeah. boar or a random gray oh, dwarf gets really in your way the, and then all of a sudden you can't sprint when you want to be sprinting. And also she's going to have that one star gray dwarf on her right now. Uh, oh, you do mention here. with the trolls too, when you start talking about the troll armor, each yeah. troll is going to be dropping. Ah. Uh, it, it is, is it five fixed for each one? Five fixed amount. The one stars are a uh, are ten, and I think the two stars are twenty. It is. But the main two pieces that they want to make here, Fandy. Are... Ah, I told you. What is she doing? She has no fear. She's just been standing next to the troll the entire fight. Now she's finally going to start to run away. There's another Grey Dwarf right here. She only has half of her stamina. The troll's definitely closing very quickly. Ekthir has a message for her, but I don't think she's ever going to hear it. The troll's getting very close. Goes in for a swing. This is really bad. Are you kidding me? Wait, he ran away. I, I can't even. I can't even watch this. This is stressing me Wait, out. Wait, he's coming back. He's coming back. And she's down to 33 health. The one-star yeah, Grey Dwarf was able to get a hit in. Chunks her just a little bit. She's looking for food. She eats another piece of meat. She keeps on running. The patrol's getting closer and closer. How the fuck? Oh, my God. Fandy has no fear. Production went off Fandy for a second. They don't think she's going to die at all. I think she's dead. Oh, my God. Fandy, what are you doing? She is done, dude. She is done. What is she doing? Wait. Is she trying to kite the troll? Wait a minute. Is she trying to kite the troll over to the other players? That's the only thing that I... Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Nice work, that, dude. Oh, oh, we got Sequisha going up against already a two-star Grey Dwarf. Gamer, gray dwarf God. Against uh, in a, his invisible friend. And there it is. Gray what dwarf was the Grey Dwarf doing? He was behind his house with the knife. Fandy dodges another attack. I've never seen someone roll this much before. I can't do 
this, man. I can't do this. This is. Are you? No, he's gonna fuck me up, dude. Yeah. Fandy, Fandy is an actual god. Oh my god! Look at her rolling. What is she doing? Some dark soul shit. That Fandy. is some dark soul shit. Oh Fandy. my god. She's actually a god. Oh my god. She's this a god gamer. Oh my god, what are you doing? Get away from the troll! I've never seen somebody roll this much in like their entire 100 hours of playtime. Fandy is rolling more than anybody I've ever seen play this game. She's gotten down both of the gray dwarfs that were up on her. Now the troll is still following her around. What is she trying to do? What is she doing? Oh my god! She dead. She dead. There's no way you're going to do that. You're dead. You're 100% dead. He didn't even no hand her. There's no, 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 it, it's, it's over. Trust me. Like, it's, it's the OTK over. hoodie, dude. It's the OTK hoodie. I swear. Kill him. I, I, this, these things are hard as fuck to kill. Like, there's no way. She's not doing any damage to it. It's going to take half the fucking time. There's no way, dude. Her stamina management. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Look at her face. Oh, See? Go. Yep. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. What are you doing? I told you, man. You don't go. fuck with a troll. She out of stamina. She out of stamina. Yeah. Me too. I'm oh, stressed no. out. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Oh, oh, holy oh, shit. Armora. Armora. Wow. So, guys. Oh, early circling cores. So yeah. Already, Armora is already gone into the Black Forest. Now, inside of the Black Forest, there are something. There are these little chambers called burial chambers. And in this game, um, they have a number of really, really good items in them. Now, obviously, they are the first way for you to be able to get Sertling cores. Now, Sertling cores are used not only in order to get a, uh, a portal, but also you need five Sertling cores for your smelter, and you need five Sertling cores for your uh, for your forge. So you effectively need 10, 10 Sertling cores, and Armora knows this, well, which is why she's trying to rush these different areas before more people are able to uh, compete with her for those resources. So this if you get them before the PvP starts, though, keep in mind that you can get away with just having five, right? And then yeah. you can actually, you can kind of juggle it, right? You make one, that you break true. it apart, then you use the five to, to actually make sure that you're taking all of your tin uh, and taking all of your copper and, and making you that See right there. Let's that take a look. What she just showed there. Um, also, that little thing on the screen there. Um, that little red rune. Whenever you interact with one of the runes inside of these burial chambers, the runes unlock the uh, the location for the second boss named the Elder. And also, I want to take a look. So Sequisha is going inside of a troll cave, which is uh, great that we got a chance to tune into Sequisha right whenever he's about to die. <laughs> is, uh, let's see what level is this troll. This is an interesting color of troll. I think that actually might be a level one or level two or level two level three troll. Now, in terms terms of levels and the way they work and um hopefully right there those uh those shipwrecked ships there are extremely important I because that, whenever you destroy one of the shipwrecked ships the, uh, the 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 now he doesn't know this and it would be good if he did but he does not know this um if you destroy those shipwrecked ships they drop fine wood fine wood is used to create a lot of different things i think somebody in this chat might have just told them <laughs> it seems like it which is a good idea yeah um, you can destroy those and that will allow you to make the fine wood bow, the bow having the thing? fine wood bow early yeah, on yeah. in the game is extremely important because other than that the only other way that you're able to get the fine wood bow is by cutting down birch trees which the stone and the flint axes are not able to do so it's extremely uh, advantageous to take advantage of these shipwrecked uh, you know areas here and farm them for the fine wood because it can allow you to make that bow really early on that'll give you a huge advantage so it obviously, takes way too long like it's way too much work to, uh to work with those birches it's better to just stick to the beaches to be completely honest so is. getting a boat like this it's going to help you a whole bunch also keep in it's mind they enough. He gets they, 10 from, I believe, each one. And mm -hmm. uh, there are two different resource nodes here. And um, he's going to be able to yeah, get, I right. think, I, I don't know if you need level two to make a fine wood bow. I'm not sure. But what I do know is that he's going to probably have enough fine wood here. And also these shipwrecks, just for anybody who wants to know for themselves, uh, these shipwrecks are available uh, basically anywhere on the 
on the coast of the Black Forest. So if you guys in your own game want to find something yeah. like this and want to push, see, so you just got 20 fine wood right. because, again, there were two different locations boss. and each one you gave him 10. Do, and so he's got 21 in. fine wood right there. And I believe that's going to be enough for him to already make the fine wood bow. An amazing advantage that Sequisha is going to have, especially if he wants to push the second boss quickly. Now, obviously, he's still thinking about going after this troll. Now, let's this. talk about troll levels. Now, troll levels are extremely important, and they're important in general for everything. So he's going to try to go in and maybe ambush the troll. He, oh, he can't do it. Troll. He can't Come do it. There's on, no dude. way he can do it. Like, if he does, if he tries to go for this, he'll die. Yeah, I'm he's surprised that he went for the mushroom. It doesn't seem like something that's very worth it. He's still going to be up on this troll's ass. Yeah, but, it, especially... He has double health. This troll has double health. Yeah, turn around. Oh yeah, my goodness. Guys, One of the advantages is he can get out of the cave pretty easily. I'm surprised they stayed in so long. Gonna try to get behind it. Is he actually gonna fight this troll or is he just gonna grab the mushrooms? This is a madman. You're watching a madman. Oh, he's going into the chest there. Good thing that troll has really shitty aim. Obviously, you got a ruby right oh, there. Ruby's not necessarily that me. important. Rubies and other out. items oh. that have the valuable oh. tag, the only oh, real oh, reason. Oh, uh, that you're going to want to go after those. Now, obviously, Clean uh, has three food buffs. He's got 80 health. Now, he oh, would be able to kill this troll potentially, but it would definitely be a dangerous... There's someone else right there as well. Come on, buddy. Uh, so, yeah, I, I keep interrupting my thought about oh, the uh, the, about the yes. stars. Here, so the stars you... multiply the health and damage by, the, uh, by like, one, basically. So a... Um, uh, a mob that has one star has 100% increased health and damage, and a mob that has two stars has 200% increased right, health here, and damage. So it is extremely important on, to be able to know that and not take fights Come that you can't win. Uh, I remember I went up against a two-star troll, out. and it was a challenge even for me, and that was after I had killed the All second right. boss. Now, you see, obviously, Kawa here, a uh, very, very smart guy. What he's doing here is he's fighting this That's troll trolling, next this to a copper vein and the reason why he's fighting the troll next here. to the copper vein is because the troll smashes right here can actually destroy okay. the copper vein and help him indirectly farm copper without actually right having here. that pickaxe that he doesn't have from the first boss yet so this is a huge advantage that he's going to have if he's able to get a little bit of this but the copper to be honest doesn't really have a whole lot of value in terms of really progressing his character yeah, totally. until he actually gets the 10 to go along with it so this is a good strategy but really only one for lazy people and i don't actually i think this is a cool thing that you can do but not necessarily something that you should be. So it, well the thing is is if you do value the troll hide though you are kind of just feeding two birds with one scone get a little bit of copper get yourself some troll hide and then you're able yeah. to walk away with a nice little boon actually getting an advantage to some of the things you're going to have in hand and also some of the things that you are going to be wearing i do want to just remind people oh, one other thing standing next to the birch tree so the troll will destroy mm -hmm. the birch tree and will give him fine wood so he can craft the bow that's also very very smart too and when we do talk about this bow one of the other things that we're going to have happening very soon yep. is there is going to be a drop and people voted for fine wood to be in that drop so we're going to see some more fine wood getting injected into this game where people are going to be able to get those nice and early and that drops going drop live very live soon so you're going to see those things but now running around we are going to see the troll actually hit those logs Our be able to extract some fine wood based off of the sweat of this troll's brow this just scares the shit out of me man like i'll be honest just scares the shit out of me the so troll hide chest piece and the troll hide uh leggings Splash are the most shot, efficient boys. and best items to get out of the troll hide set the reason why the helmet is not effective is because the helmet does not actually give you a movement speed reduction if you get bronze or iron and the reason why the cloak is not effective is because there is a higher resource requirement for leveling up the troll hide cloak uh coat cape 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 or cloak okay not cloak um you guys know what i'm trying to say and so anyway uh oh that is a little oh that is a little bit dangerous here so uh the reason why you want to do that is so uh <laughs> the reason why you want to no! oh my gosh that's actually going to be the first death and he was so close to getting so far ahead and all of a sudden he's just not going to be able to roll in time and he's going to get trolled f's in chat for Kala and oh and he's dead too 
<laughs> We're gonna have to actually watch a clip of how Annie died, but we have two back-to-back -back oh. deaths, and now Kala and Annie are gonna get to see each other at the altar. They're no longer going to be in the tournament. We're gonna get that clip from Annie soon, and we'll see how she actually died. Oh. But goodbye oh to two contestants. We are oh. down to just six. And a few people were actually asking Why did I fight them? how oh, the yeah. rules were going to work for this tournament. We're going to have our first two people eliminated. But the way that it actually does work is we had two hours of save time. And we only do have 79 minutes left of the save time with no okay, PvP. But if you die to anything in the environment, that still does eliminate you. And uh, thank you very much to those trolls because that just saved us 40 yeah, gifted subs. Yeah, we're going to have to give the subs to the trolls now. So, uh, yeah, I, guys, I mean, that's how subs work either way. I mean, you're gifting them to chat. A huge mistake to do that. The reason why it was a mistake to do that is because they're playing on a server. They're playing on a server with a game that has um, moderately dysfunctional netcode. And with the moderately dysfunctional netcode on top of the already existing latency, it's a mistake to go up against something like that that has such a high damage window that can one shot you like that whenever you're doing something that has to be pixel perfect. It was a huge mistake for them to make that decision, that well. and that's, that's what that happens happened. whenever you do it. Uh, if he had stayed back and just shot the arrows at it, he would have been fine, and he would be crafting his troll armor right now. And uh, you see, obviously, Annie going up against, you see that skeleton right there. That skeleton has... She died to fall damage. damage. She died to Tim damage, damage, dude. It is a big cock. Okay, let me just say that. Now, also, you guys want to know a little bit of a oh fun God, fact here. Um, fall out. damage caps out at 100. So if you have over 100 health and you God can take a drop any in any direction possible, um, as soon as you hit the ground, Wait you can only back. take yeah, up to 100 damage from down. fall damage. So it uh, turns out Annie had 40 health and um, didn't matter. Yeah, uh, yeah. Queen is doing great. Armora is doing great. I mean, we're seeing some really good showings here, and we've still got six contestants as well. Uh, the the actual the preparation period is not even halfway over, and we're actually about to see things get really interesting. Whenever we start actually more? seeing okay, the divergence of how people want to handle more? different things. Now, Queen sees that level two skeleton, or sorry, yeah, level two skeleton, one star skeleton. Uh, those are a lot harder to kill, uh, and it looks like he's opted not to do it. Now, if you look at his weapons work, there, you like, see on number four, he, he already has anymore, crafted bro. the fine wood bow, which is, of course, why he has a number of, he has bro, some flint well. arrows, yeah, but primarily he has wood arrows, and Sequisha is also... He's getting attacked by a two star wolf! So be careful! Be careful! Be careful. That's what killed Quinn! Oh my god! Oh boy! And boys, the drop it hasn't been picked up yet, so it has actually been doubled. There is a lot to pick up from that drop. And uh, what exactly is in that drop? Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Oh my goodness! 20 troll leather. That's a lot of troll hide. This is huge. Anybody who picks this up is in a massive wait, wait, wait. Look at who we've got. We've got Sequisha just petting his dog. Just, you know, having a good time. And, you know, maybe he might just come over here. Yeah. Oh, look at his face, dude. I, I knew it. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, he's excited, man. Fanny's so close to the... I wonder okay. if she noticed yet. Uh, yeah, she's right on top of the bed. Oh, it's her mini map, so she definitely okay. sees it. Oh, she's oh, only 12 health. 12 health. Oh, boy. So she's Man, been me. dancing with death the whole time. Right over there. Now, obviously, the skeletons aggro against the gray dwarves. So, if you guys that don't know, there are actually like NPCs that will fight against each other. Uh, skeletons and gray dwarves attack each other. So, um, that's obviously going to give her a little bit of a distraction. You've got that first skeleton going off with the gray okay. dwarves running over at her. You don't want to have those rocks hit you. This is not good. I would not be smiling right now. I would be mad. I would be afraid. So obviously she's still got two gray you dwarfs run? after her, but she is regening health slowly, almost already back up to 30 health. Okay, I don't know. I, the entire there. time that we jump on with Fanny, yeah. every single time she's almost dead and she's laughing about it. She knows know. no fear at all. It's so stressful. Oh my There's god. And so she's just running around. She's still got obviously the uh the the, uh, the crude bow. She's a little bit far behind in terms of like progression. But... She's got to run away from everything that she's got aggroed on her the whole time. Yeah.
it's uh, what what are you going to do besides just try to stay alive she needs to get herself out of these situations it, it, okay she hit it with the torch first right for are she using fire arrows on these she's actually using fire arrows those are something that uh you know may i maybe expect some people to save them for pvp but i think in the current state that she's in right now just trying to make sure that she gets out of this nice and healthy she's got another hour to farm up more of those so she is going to be using those fire arrows uh, fire arrows extremely uh effective against gray dwarves uh so mm -hmm. any higher damage is so it's definitely a, a good decision to use them on, on anything if you're going to use them on 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 a gray dwarf so it's definitely good so uh we see people obviously building and uh trying to build i i think one difference here that i've noticed based off of like kind of the way that i've played at least the difference is that a lot of people are actually trying to build specifically around different resources, which is a really smart idea, in my opinion. Yep, uh, you really, in in a version of the game like this, right, in a tournament like this, you're, yeah. you're not going to be using carts that much. You're not going to be setting up like a permanent residence where you're going to be smelting a bunch of your ore. Uh, you're, you're not going to be doing any of that. You're a nomad pretty much the entirety of the game. So it's all about just getting a nice little shed set up, getting the resources that you need getting the item that you need and then getting out of dodge and it, we see a lot of the players like el shokas doing that over and over again get that one item and then so move that's on all that one this is really bad for Andy. This, is, this could be it this could be she literally just shuts the door <laughs> she just shuts the door she's laughing again <laughs> Just, just shut the door on him, man. He ain't gonna get through. He can't use. Oh, he can't use the this door. This is not good, dude. He's just hmm, Oh my what god. What's she gonna so, do? So this is a. She should uh, kite a, him to the outside area and then just kite him around on top of the we entrance there because he can't go over the step and just keep hitting him. Like it'll be really easy for her to kill him. Um, but it it's also a huge time commitment, and, and there you don't really get anything out of it. So we'll see what happens here. Um, oh, Stace, wait, Stace, is Stace safe just going in there at the same time? Oh, she just picked up Certling Core. That's Fucking really, dandy. really good. They're both in the same oh, this is just what I need. there. Now, obviously, you see that pile of skeleton bones. That is yeah, a skeleton dandy. spawner. That can have two active skeletons at a time. So you know that going into that room, there are going to be two skeletons waiting to fuck you. So they could actually be in this next room here. Oh, my God. Room. Wait, Stace, Stace, if he should grab the certain cores. He knows the fan is in there right now. Yeah. Oh. Get the cores, dude. Yeah. Uh, you know, and Fanny's just gonna run in and she's gonna yoink the cores. She's gonna yank the cores. What's he doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Get the cores. <laughs> okay, there we go. Finally. Finally. Yes. Wait, yes. Look how many wait, he just put them all on the ground. He did oh, there we go. He's finally picking them up. Wait, that was uh that was five cores right there. That that's all you really uh Yeah, yeah, yeah he's good. Stay safe has a lot of cores at this point, right? Oh he is God. already a little bit further ahead. I'm surprised that we actually yeah. see him going in to the burial chambers. One of the things that we might see him try to do is what we saw Clean do a little bit earlier, which is actually use it as a bone factory. Uh, and yeah, you, you don't see those bone factories very often unless you're, you know, maybe in like the, the just chatting section or something like that. But we are in the Valheim section, one of the first Valheim tournaments that we've ever seen. And let's see how many bones that Stay Safe can generate. I, I think you're not really going to need a whole lot. Uh, I've kept my own skeleton spawners. I've had a few of them myself in, in my world, but I found that it's not really that useful. It's not really that effective because their uh, their use goes away pretty fast. Now, obviously, uh, Sequisha here. Now, what he's really going to have to do, so fighting in close quarters like this is actually very hard to do, and it diminishes your damage a lot. The reason for that is every single time that you hit a target, uh, it reduces the damage that you do. So, for example, you can hit one target for 40 damage, or you can hit two targets for about 25 damage. So, because he's fighting the skeleton in close quarters, the walls actually oh, count better, as a but... second uh, a second target that he's hitting, which is going to make it a lot harder for him yeah. to kill the skeleton, and it's going to make it take longer. So, he has to be careful about that. Sequisha is not switched off that knife at all either. And, He's been using it the entire I time. I want to say, if one of these guys encounters it, this could be the end of Stay Safe here. That is a one star skeleton archer. That is very, very dangerous. I'm sure and he just closed the door on it. A very good decision. I would not open that door again. 
I'm, I'm looking to see I'm how they move. Yeah, I'm trying to see where the, the health bars actually move to see if they got I'm aggroed onto Fandy. Because really Fandy's kind of just running around. You can hear Stay Safe saying it's go not away. worth risking. Go he closes away. the door on Fandy, trying to get her to go, Get out of my room, Fandy! Oh, 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 oh my god, she just got hit so hard! <laughs> oh my god, Fandy! <laughs> She's almost dead! She's laughing again! <laughs> what are you oh doing? My god, dude. What are you doing? Fandy! She crazy! Oh my god! Get out of Fandy here. actually has me speechless! I don't, I don't know what she's doing! Now she's gonna pepper a few oh, shots in there onto the skeletons! This is a human who knows absolutely no fear. She's got the skeleton in the sweet spot, not gonna be able to hit her. Uh, and now the skeletons, they're, they're just gonna run away. They're scared of Fandy. It doesn't matter that she only has 29 health. Oh my god, this is so, it, it, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. No, I would be like, I, I swear, like, if, if I was- she's, she's trying to drag him on to stay safe now. Oh no. I, I feel like she's trying to drag him on to stay safe. She was shooting fire arrows at the skeletons earlier too. Yeah. Sandy's popping Maybe. in. <laughs> Maybe. It, it's- this is a huge, this is a completely unnecessary risk. Doing what they're doing right now is a, a huge mistake. They're WoW players. Uh, WoW players don't know anything about efficient grinding. You know what WoW players usually do? They run laps around Dalaran. Uh, this is essentially, yeah, now they're doing Ouroboros laps right now. And when we jump on with Clean, Clean, look, he's farming Copper. He's got the troll, the troll's his personal assistant. This is exactly how you want to do it. So what he's doing is he's running inside of the troll's attack range and then running out of the attack range so the troll can actually hit the copper vein and break it apart and actually farm the copper for him. Clean is, is a true wow. streamer. He is a yeah. true streamer. He has somebody else doing all the work for him. He's turned this troll into Absolutely one of his mods. Good. And yeah. uh, obviously skeletons. Uh, one thing that a lot of people also might not know with Perry. Did he make the cloak? Uh... That's a troll cloak. All right, I was gonna put it. I was gonna put him on a sign, but yes. Leave my what, dude? Here. He's 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 interior decorating right now. He's like, where should I, I put my head? Nails, you know? yeah, wow, so he went he went for the full troll set. Board, he's got he's the sneak sneaky. bonus. He's sneaky. I can't he's even see him right now. Boy. All right, now he's got the full set. Let's see what this now is gonna do for him. Two minutes, PvP. gentlemen. Two minutes, two like minutes, minutes until the PvP begins. It, it seems like nobody's really going for the sausages. Nobody's really going for a lot of stuff. And I actually yeah. kind of expected one person to rush tech. And it doesn't really seem like that's happened. Uh, I was actually, I was surprised though, you know, like in terms of like the, the prep for this, that we had so many people get fine, fine wood bows so early. Because I know in my playthrough, the first one I did, I didn't do that at all. The and drops, the uh, drops accelerated it. They definitely did. Uh, but the oh, other no, thing that I want to keep in mind was yeah. on the seed, there was the uh, the the sunken ship, which allowed for a, a fine wood bow, and then also clean five headed. He five headed that troll. The troll actually uh, broke down that birch form, yeah, and then he was able to get that fine wood without too much of a problem. So we saw some really good strategies coming out, which allowed these players to to get the. Uh, Jose Frio, he's cold. I actually can speak a little bit of a different language, which I did not know until this very moment. Uh, yeah, I'm very proud of myself, but let's see who's going to be proud of themselves as we enter PvP one minute until the, the horn of war gets sounded. One minute. One and people minute will turn left. on their PvP flagging. One minute left. I am... I don't know, guys. But let's hear in chat. Who do you think is going to come out ahead here? I'm kind of curious to... To, to know how you guys feel about it. This is I, why I we're here. Anybody's game. Yeah, we've waited two hours. We have Look at chat. two hours. That's the best I could do. Holy I, shit, I look at chat. Queen is the, the uh, is the chosen one by chat. Uh, I... Yeah, you know, I'm, 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 you know, we're, we're the tournament organizers. We can't pick a, uh, we can't have an opinion here. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Let's just say that. Oh, my God. So uh, a locust has to deal with a two-star brute. Two-star brutes are no joke. Th does, he have to, no does he have to deal with it? I think the fire oh, might be right warding there. him off enough. It's the right there. I, I think he's uh I think his fire placements just got him in a good spot right now. He's trying to build a couple yeah, extra walls here. Yeah. Wall. yeah he, 
Still min-maxing. PvP right. is getting turned on right now. This is Here the last time I'll have to do it, Asmin. For two hours, our brave the warriors, war. they have prepared for this moment. And now, it is time. Pride. PVP enabled. PVP is now enabled. PVP has been enabled. All right, guys. So let's see how this is going to go. Obviously, Queen's looking around, seeing what's going to happen. And uh, how do you feel about maybe 45 minutes or so, 30, 45 minutes, uh, until they'll be uh, able to turn on their location? Let's what see if we even get there first. I am not even sure yeah. if we get there, but yeah, they, yeah, yeah. So we already have, we've got a huntsman bow with on top of that arrows as well. I think those are iron arrows. I'm not a hundred bronze arrows as well with some extra fun as well. The huntsman bow this, this early into the game is a huge advantage to whoever is able to pick it up. And the supply drop just went down. Dawn of the seventh day. It feels yep. poetic. We enter our second hour, or we enter our third hour now of the competition. We are out of the safe time, and now everybody getting their last prep done. And as you can see right now, they're not forced to jump on top of each other immediately. Uh, a few people getting a little bit more prep, and Sequisha that goes, yo, I am going to blitz on over to that supply drop. Going for it. But clean is hidden right now. He's oh, actually, no. is he going to wait? Oh, no, it? dude. Oh, no. Who does He's he have in his prey. Sight? Who does he have in his sights? I'm not sure. Clean is very, very sneaky. Sure. This is not looking good, dude. The pee pee laugh's uh -oh. coming out already. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm so excited to see this. He's just right up there next to this dude's base, man. Who he is, is ready to pop off. Who is it? Oh, oh no, man. no, 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 no. He's just completely hidden right now. Keep in mind, while all this is happening, Sequisha might be going over to that supply drop to kind of get it. Yeah, we do, do have This is Sequisha. good for Sequisha. This is very good oh. for him. Oh, my God. Look who else is going there. Shokas oh. is going over there too. Are oh, we going okay. to have an early fight? There. All right. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here, boys. This is what we have waited for this entire time. The camp. Uh oh. The Hunger Games begin, gentlemen. Here we go. And they're both going to it. They're both going to it. They're going to see each other. Like moths to a flame. Oh wait, he's just oh, aiming no. at him. Oh, what is? There it is. Who's the other it's, person? It's, it's clean. I believe it's clean. Show it. Show it. So oh, no, it's Sequisha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Queen is chasing down Sequisha. A little bit of lag coming out here. It's going to allow Sequisha to get away for just a second. A little bit of lag there. Sequisha's moving away. Queen's like, ah, oh, fuck, I can't even hit him. He's probably going to get the bow out. We'll see what happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Clean is going to ring around the posy with him, trying to close it off. He puts out a, a shot, trying to adapt to Ooh. everything that's happening on the server. They're, they're just going to be dodging each other's arrows without too much of a problem there. <laughs> Definitely right. a little bit of lag. You can hear you can hear Clean laughing yep, as well. He's like, yeah, he's like, bit, shit. There's a little bit of lag here. Oh, and we got a shot off. Queen took a hit with a fire arrow. He's already burning from Sequisha. Uh, unless Sequisha pushes in on that, it's not really going to do a whole lot because he's going to be able to regen his health passively by having all the uh, the best food on. He's already got the cooked necktail. He's already got the honey. He's got the uh, the meat buff. And Clean's able to see where Sequisha is. This is not looking good. Oh, they're both sneaking. They're, they're both, both sneaking. But Clean, Clean definitely felt the uh, the oh, brutal yeah. wrath of that lag oh, a whole bunch oh, because he oh. was hiding in wait, waiting for somebody to walk past, yeah. and that lag made it really really tough for him to get the jump on him sure was nice shot coming out there fire arrows going out fire arrows going oh, out at sequisha this is a this is a real battle here i mean i i think obviously there's going to be a little bit of rng involved especially with the lag here but other than that i mean this is kind of interesting to see how pvp in this game is really playing out <laughs> dude everybody in chat was going and going yo that's the sneak bonus paying off <laughs> yeah yeah exactly oh and we got an 
Did Finn? Finn? Oh my gosh, Finn. she just oh, to hit those straight to Finn. Camping the drop. Amora camping the drop, trying to kill Fandy. Oh my god. Look at that. Just like, this is just like a regular BR. People camping supply drops. How wait, amazing. There's another, wait, there's another shot coming, coming in from Fandy. Oh you my have to God. see who gets this kill. Oh, Fandy's no. getting hit from both sides right now. Showcross backing off a little bit. If you're just tuning in right now, keep in mind the way that this is going to work. Whoever does get the kill is going to get 20 gifted subs. Whoever gets the most kill gets 100 gifted subs, and whoever is the last person standing gets an additional 100 subs. Fandy Wait. manages to stay alive after that assault from both sides. God, Fandy! She's and immortal. Again. She's immortal. She gets away again because they start fighting each other. I somehow made it there. Oh How? my god. Every time we think Fandy is about oh to die, god. she somehow yeah. hangs on. But both uh so she sure just walked and the funny thing is like she was one of the that didn't have the uh the fine wood bow and she just upgraded to the huntsman bow. <laughs> people are people are people are converting in chat so quickly they're like, all right, I'm, I'm, the table's still open, I'm moving my yeah. money over to Fandy. Sequisha still hiding in wait. It's going to be Amora here. Is he going to be able to get a shot into Amora? One yeah. shot going to go in, it's a fire arrow. It. There's a skeleton running after Amora as well. This is not looking good. So, do you hear what Sequisha just said? He said, I think she got the drop. So he's going to be a little bit more scared of her because she, he thinks that, that Armora actually did get the drop, even though we know it was Fandy. He's not going to know yet. So he's going to he's gonna be using that sneak bonus from full troll set. Armora might retaliate as well. She's waiting for him. She knows he's coming. It's going to be a shot right here. Yep, there it is. Oh, a double miss. The shooting yeah, in this game is hard. It's not easy, especially when, you know, it's not easy against the deer. It's not going to be easy against a person as well. She's got a little skeleton friend. Yep. <laughs> Did you hear what we should just said? Everything's good. No, like she can't he, he just said, he Wait, just said, I feel like Fandy, is that right? <laughs> so that just said, I feel too? bad because oh I like God. all the people in the tournament. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's such a nice guy, man. <laughs> He's such a nice dude. Jesus. I love it. Okay. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I mean, oh, oh, I think he's basically trying to use the skeletons to his. Oh, oh, oh what, was that? what the that was hell was that? <laughs> okay, we've got Amora just kiting back, trying to regen stamina, getting behind the tree, hopefully trying to line of sight some of those arrows with Sequisha on the hunt. Sequisha <laughs> is on the hunt. He's going. He's out for blood. I think that he, he might have lost her. We'll see what's going to happen. Man, yeah, these servers are almost as bad as when I used to cast Call of Duty. <laughs> I don't know. I play WoW, so I'm still impressed by them. <laughs> yeah, it's not really that good. We're uh, going to see our more able to get away from that skeleton there. She's going to be able to blink as well Sequisha, somehow. There's... Sequisha's got a visual. Sequisha's got the visual. He's going back in. He's They're stalking. still He's in killed. battle. That that dumbass deer is gonna give away her location. He's stalking his kill. Uh oh, this is not looking good. Uh oh. Uh oh. We'll see how this goes. He's looking <laughs> around. He's trying to find her. I don't think that they know where each other are now. Yeah, I think they lost each other for just a yeah. little bit here. So now the question is, do they continue to look for one another or do we see them actually rotate away you know the that longer that you stay in one of these pvp on fights beat, that gives somebody who's beat, not in a fight a chance to get even further stuff. ahead yeah this is well, this is crazy uh, how how's everybody else doing are, are they just really pvp like too or just kind of looking around both. queens just walking around trying to see what's going on i'm not really sure where he's going to or what he's looking for and so last time, Fandy was there a little bit early, and it was both Shokas and also uh, we saw Armora was also going to be uh, to be working towards trying to take Fandy down. The question is, are we going to see something similar again? We haven't seen Armora in a little while. Is she hiding? Fandy's going to see somebody there, and it looks like uh, I, oh, I'm not 100% sure who it is. Okay, now the fight has started. It's Fandy. Oh, here we go. We've got Fandy Sequisha. against Sequisha. Fandy showing the power of that bow, taking Sequisha down to half health already. Fandy just going in. Fandy's going in. Sequisha trying to use that sneak bonus against her. And he's looking, he's trying to charge up his bow attack. And I think he might have actually just missed that shot. Fandy, this is hers to lose. Is she actually going to get a win here? Oh, looks like Sequisha's getting a little bit farther away. 
it, it looked like a, like a little bit of freezing damage went out as well. Now, keep in yeah. mind, Fanny is going to be at full health. She's going to have 72 health here right now. Blueberry, some cooked meat, and a regular berry. So Sequisha's going to have slightly worse food. His food buffs are about to run off right, wear off right now, which means he could actually re-eat food and then hit like that peak threshold where the food's at his strongest and then go back in for combat. Fanny's going to be hiding here behind a tree, waiting, trying to slow down that tempo just a little bit. But I do feel like Fanny had the advantage in that fight with the bow and now going in for the drop oh we see vlad there is that that's clean right vlad is clean why the fuck not i'm pretty sure yes it is okay good and then that's all the uh oh, i think that's nice. the yep those are the poison arrows right there this dangerous is in his hands huge. this is huge for clean Just massive so fast he grabbed drop those like he flew by he was ready to go oh yeah i mean this is gonna be uh this is going to speed things up a whole lot. And guys, we're going to give them just a little bit more time. But after that, we are going to have players where their location is turned on. So we can see them converge and get together more quickly. And also, the supply drops are going to get more powerful. And you're going to see better items with these supply drops. So that's going to also speed things up. And uh, you guys will get on what those are. Oh, there it is. The poison arrow. Oh, my God. Okay, there it is. Oh. Wait, Sequisha going in there with the stabs. There it is. He's taking the poison damage. It doesn't even really matter. Uh, there we go. We've got Queen looking up for another shot right there. Almost got it there. And Sequisha's trying to bait out the shot and then go in there with the dagger. There it is. Queen hits him again. Sequisha is not looking good right here. And then, oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Almost. The poison's not hitting hard as hard as I thought it would, but no, Sequisha's down low. Uh, yeah, oh, my God. Sequisha's taking a lot of damage here. And it looks like Clean is trying to get the next shot on him. Uh-oh. And those arrows are going fast. I, I think <laughs> that if Clean gets boss. one more shot on him, this is not going to be looking good for Sequisha. Uh -oh. Sequisha's trying to run as quick as possible. He's going to turn uh -oh. around, try to return a shot of his own. But this volley uh -oh. seems to be one that he could lose. He gets a nice shot on to Clean there. Oh, so Clean's going to take a little bit of damage. Two but shot, three shots. Oh, he, Clean blocks one, though. He gets him with the mace. Oh, he, Sequisha, look at his stamina. Clean, Clean's out of stamina. Sequisha's full. Clean's getting behind a rock, trying to regen stamina. Pre-casting his shot, going for that poison arrow. Tried to bait it over in that direction. Looks like Sequisha didn't move there. Just keeps moving over there. This is looking good, guys. This is looking real good. Uh oh, between the rock and some poison uh -oh. arrows. <laughs> nice roll comes out oh from Queen. Queen tries to close that space. They're just playing Dark Souls oh, again. Oh, we've That's got a third contestant. We've got a third contestant me. coming in here trying to shoot arrows as well. This is not looking good for any of them. It's stay I'm safe. Here. Yep, stay safe going in there with the third party. I like it. He's trying to run away. Clean is trying to close the distance on him with the dagger. He almost got a swing on him. Sequisha is just moving away as much as possible. This could be the end of Sequisha. We'll see what's going to happen. Queen is pulling out the big dick mace. And then, oh, that was so close. That was so, so close. Queen almost got the tag on him with the poison arrow. And it looks like Sequisha is almost getting away. Sequisha goes for the shot on him as well. Queen at half health almost. Recharges his oh my gosh, Queen! Another to direct off, hit. Queen is going in. Oh, <laughs> no. Is he, is he going into the base? Clean oh, is no. in a tough spot oh, here. No. He pops up around the corner. He's going to receive a shot here from Sequisha. He tries to get behind Sequisha to put oh, a shot man, into him. Good. Stay safe. It's just been an Clean thing. is low. This is not good at all for him. And then he's turning it around, doing a pretty good amount of damage to Sequisha. No but look at the no health teaming. bar difference. I mean, Clean is so far behind on health. Sequisha is so far ahead. Clean is trying his best just to get away and make some distance. And he actually takes that shot. Me, That's dude. a little bit of lag there as well and he's just trying to get away as much as possible but he's out of stamina sequisha it is is as well see, he's just I looking to get that equipment. one shot we have three people in that same <laughs> area up, trying dude. to get a kill stay I'm safe completely oh. changed completely changed the entire tide of that fight he came in and yep. he just like he was like all right we're going for clean oh he's trying to head him off he's trying to head him off look at that he's got his mace out there he's ready for it oh there's the roll so queen can get away as well Queen is just escaping as much as possible. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not looking good. It's turned back into a 2v2. We got Sequisha now inside. Uh, I'm curious what he's going to try to do inside there. Now it's going to be clean versus stay safe. They got the mallets yep. going out. 
and they are going to try to see if they can get that first kill. Oh, that's a tag right there on that's Stay Safe. That's a big tag. There's that's a big, a big tag. tag. Stay Safe is going to be losing. It always wait. No, Stay Safe has his poison resistance potion. Remember, he got that from the drop. Wow, that poison resist potion actually yep. coming in clutch. Stay safe still, though. The lowest health player in this engagement right now. Everybody is actually using the same food. As you can see right now, everybody has uh, yep. cooked neck, cooked meat, and they're going to have a honey as well as their third food source. Now, it is going to be Clean who finds one of the uh, small little shacks that existed on this seed. Uh, he knocks down uh, a little bit of an opening. He's probably going to use that as some cover a little bit later in this engagement. We still do see behind the tree is going to be Sequisha looking for a nice shot with his bow stay safe roaming he does not want to leave this fight as of yet and they're still saying in that same central area now it's going to be clean going back inside of this shelter there is a gray dwarf blocking him for now this yep. isn't the shelter with the trap inside though so is still going to be the wolf at the door now making his way uh, uh -oh. towards that shack they're all fighting right around in that shelter man uh oh this is not looking good everybody is just playing a and i don't even know where our other three contestants are at they're just kind of going off doing their own thing but these guys are just kind of fighting it out i don't know where this is going to go if anybody's even going to die here we'll have to find out oh there we go there we go there's a little bit of damage okay they're they're the chat's pee, -pee laughing is there something that we don't know <laughs> what don't we what don't we know yeah. Clean, uh -oh, so clean, clean sitting in there to try to get his rested bonus. He's trying to refresh his rested bonus, but then there we go. We see obviously Sequisha going in for the kill. He's got him pinned up against the wall. Yeah, he's got him up against Sequisha. Obviously stopped him from getting his rested buff. Uh, it has reset. Sequisha might be going in again. He's trying to get a shot into him, but we've got bug. Stay Safe in there distracting. Clean ends up getting uh, his rested buff again, which makes his stamina recovery even better. And Sequisha goes in there and BMs bitch. him and destroys his fucking. Fire. <laughs> 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 The only person who does not have the rested buff right now is going to be Stay Safe. But Stay Safe yeah. is kind of staying on the peripheral of the fight, trying to pop shots New in PvP only when drop. somebody else is weak, like a true World of Warcraft player. Another PvP drop is going to be down. We're going to have to see who rotates over from there. But we still have this triangle of death. It's the Bermuda Triangle here of these three players going head-to-head -head nonstop. We can actually see them start to rotate on over to that yeah, a battle oh, axe. axe. A big dick battle axe. We've got some more honey for some more consumables and then we also have some arrows guys the next supply drop i want you all to vote on the biggest dick item on the list okay i, I want to see some kills i want to see some real fighting over the next one we're going to do a poll in just a few minutes in chat and then after that poll how do you guys feel about uh, us turning on the locations oh Dude, snap, wait nigga. you know what Oh, well, God, it, oh, he cleans happy because he got the battle axe. But I was yeah. saying, I was like, I wonder if you just leave in the arrows, if they'll say that it's done. Oh, uh, and then if people Sequisha. will still come. Oh, okay, he's yeah. using the battle axe on Sequisha right now. He's going absolutely ham. Sequisha is going to try to block and try to, oh! to play the orange. I ain't got Sequisha. Wait, what? Oh, Wait, give what? Me your food. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! Are you right kidding now. me? Oh, That's the first kill. I didn't even know what the oh, fuck happened. Oh, oh, oh. That's the, oh, we that is the whole shirt. this battle axe. It's no this joke. Fucking battle axe. I'm gifted 20 subs. First Dude, kill. I didn't think the battle axe was gonna be good at all. I thought the battle axe was going to suck. <laughs> Let's get some axe up in the chat, shit. boys. Oh, that is oh look, wait, look, it's stay safe. Stay He's safe. Going stay safe now with the battle axe. Goblin. Oh, oh Queen right going for the swing again. Oh, is it lagging? I oh, think there lagging it is. Okay. Tried to go for the hits there. We'll see how this goes. Now, stay, stay, stay safe. safe. Oh, Try to get close. Okay. Stay yeah, yeah. What happened. You want space here with that battle axe. Yes, you do. I think this guy might be for me or something. Yes, you do. Oh, okay, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> You afraid of man with axe? Uh oh. Dream <laughs> literally goes, You afraid of me, bitch? Yeah. Look at him, dude. He's just running away. I would be fucking terrified. I'm going to be honest. I would be absolutely fucking terrified. Come here, bitch. Uh oh, uh -oh. Here we, we got go. the pull up in chat, gentlemen. Trying to close that gap. I'm going to run out of stamina, boy. I already gifted oh, the 20 dude. subs for that first one. Okay, there it Where is. Rich boy? Campbell gifted 20 subs. <laughs> is it going to be 20 more? Oh. 
you know, I'm tired. Oh, Stay Safe is running out of stamina. And Clean has the rested buff, and Stay Safe bow. doesn't. This is not looking good for Stay Safe. Dude, dude, Clean has the poison arrows, and he has the yeah. battle axe. It does not matter what distance away from him you Ooh, are. You are in danger. Right there. there is a hit right there on the Stay Safe. Stay, Stay Safe, safe does have that down. poison potion as well. He's almost out of stamina. He's going to be done. He's just walking at this point. Is he going to take another hit or not? We'll see. And oh, yep, he just, oh, no, he didn't. Never mind. I thought he did there for a second because he lost he's, a little bit of health. He's, he's got oh, the right. one star neck on him as well. Nani the fuck, he says to himself. The battle axe, he's oh, chopping down the neckline. What the fuck? Fuck! Holy DC God. ran right into him. They're dropping what the that axe is him. insane. <laughs> axe is up with the chat, boys. <laughs> the axe is go. ridiculous. What the fuck? Oh, nice, bro. Oh, be mad. Be working with that. Oh, oh, we oh. got another drop coming in. We got another drop. And the pork like bite. Oh shit. Oh, the pork oh, bite. Shit. That's a big one. Keep in mind, two people already died, right? That's, so that's a big one. Two people already died, which means there are six people, which means there are that five kills total. Guys. He already has two. If he gets one more kill, that means that he's going to get the 100 gifted up, subs for, for most kills. We got a bunch of super right? Dope free Did I do the math right? I mean, if he gets one more kill, he'll time, get the most kills. Well, he'll tie. Get two, you know, get two Wait, no, he wouldn't stuff. tie. Yeah, because no. he counts you know as one. I mean? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Time one more yes. kill, and Queen locks down effectively 120 subs. You really don't. No, 140. Instead of watching the stream or watching this fucking turn. Well, no, more than that. Out, because you get 100 and then if he gets three kills, 160, 160, 160 total, total subs. To okay, we'll see what happens. Very wow, dude. Dude, this battle axe, I'm going to be honest, guys. Like, I thought this battle axe was going to suck. I was like, oh, my God, he's going to throw it away with the battle axe. No, this axe is insane. This is disgusting. Now, oh what do you God. what do you do if you're the other guys? You can see you can see Shoka right now. He's going to be uh, he's going to act invest in, in, invest in a uh, either a good shield or a bow and arrow. I think that that, that is a wise oh, thing to do. We're nice. seeing the power of melee though when you're actually trying to pull off these kills. Oh my God! Uh, wait, porcupine? are you telling Jesus me Christ. Queen is going to have the porcupine hand and he's going to have the dude? battle axe? <laughs> oh no! 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 He's got one of the best weapons in the game. They're good. Oh no. Come on, people. He's got one oh, of the best weapons. No. He's got a bunch of skill. But Fandy? Oh, no. Fandy is invincible. Will Fandy be. I, I feel like. I, imagine if Fandy ends Fandy up winning. Fandy somehow wins, dude. Fandy somehow wins. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh it, it's God, going to be Armora. I mean, did you be Armora go, what the heck? He's got a porcupine. That is definitely something that, that need to create space. And Armora's like, yeah, I can't take this fight. I can't win in melee. She, she's she got she's got the good arrows. She tries to create that space. Definitely the right play here coming out from Amora. Yeah, we'll see where this takes her. Obviously, she's just trying to stay away. I mean, obviously, it's very easy to see the porcupine. Queen's already got the harpoon out. If Queen gets a harpoon... I, th I think it's basically GG for whoever he hits. All he has to do is hit that one harpoon, and he's good to go. Yeah, yeah managing to hit the harpoon is the question, especially, obviously, this is the first time that we, we've ever done this, so we've we've done everything that we can to prevent lag, but, you know, lag might make it really hard. Lag, to it's, it's just going to happen. I mean, like, yeah. we've, we've spent, like, days trying to figure it out. This is the least laggy it could possibly be. Yeah. Another PvP okay, drop is going to be happening. Yeah. Another PB. Keep in mind, Fandy doesn't need any items. Oh, shit. Fandy doesn't need another any Another one, items. dude. We got another porcupine. Another fucking mace. Okay. On the other side of the mountain. After after this one gets picked up, do we want to turn on locations? Yeah, I think that would be How a good that idea. Sound? Okay, oh, after this one gets picked up, we turn on locations, boys. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no! He oh, fell oh, into the trap! Wait. Socus! She oh, got no. into the trap. He didn't die though. He he's, didn't okay. Die. he's okay. Oh my god. He, he lived. Oh no. He lived. He fell into the believe. trap and he lived. I cannot I fucking believe it. He actually fell in the trap. 
Oh wow. my god, clean trap. What a legend. What a legend showed his face. Oh, he's like, what the heck? He's trying to get ice stuck. Oh my god. Uh, if he has if he has his pickaxe, maybe he can use the pickaxe to get out. Or maybe he can uh still be able to get out, but it's gonna take a while. He's stuck there. Oh no. It is not gonna be easy to get. I wonder if, uh, yeah, yeah, he's using the pickaxe right now. He's actually got to mine his way out. Oh my goodness. Oh, dude, that's that so could have been cool. death. Clean is an absolute legend, man. I did, dude, I never imagined somebody actually fall for that. I mean, I, dude, I, I, no way. It, it, makes, it makes a lot. Hey, you really like, can't. All right, Ar Armora, where, where is she actually going? Armora, I think yeah, she's going over towards the supply drop, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I feel for it. Yeah, there is that mindset too, though. When you know you've taken a really long time to get over there, you start to think, "Is yeah, there somebody like, waiting for me after the slide drop?" Yeah. yeah. And now Armora, she was very far ahead oh, in that PVE stage, so I don't think that she's necessarily uh, feels like she has to go for some of the supply mm -hmm. drop. She definitely did see that porcupine, though. That's something that's in her. So she gets a porcupine. Oh, there she goes for it. She's, she's, she's running. Running. She's running. This is not good. Oh, porcupine oh, action. This is not good. Oh, porcupine on porcupine. Let's see oh, where this goes. Bitch. Oh, she gets oh, yeah. the hit on him. That's a oh, lot yeah. of damage with that mace. And she actually hit clean. Yeah, that's a oh, lot. Yeah, clean yeah, is almost dead. Some. Queen is almost like dead. Is he, camped, he camped that porcupine for so long. Hubris is always the downfall. <laughs> oh my tries to close. Oh, right out of oh the god. attack. Oh Activates the porcupine so again. Oh, oh, it wasn't on her bar. It That's so damn. bad. Oh my god, what the fuck? He's teleporting. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That little bit of lag too makes it really oh, tough too. Armora oh, definitely had the drop oh. on him. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. All right. Ooh. Looks like they're they're taking a break here. No. Shit. So no. now we are going to see no. after he eats, he's no. going to be popping out a couple of shots no. here. He's going to have even more health to deal no. with. And Armor is just like, nope, 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 nope. Oh, jeez. Oh, so mad. I almost had him. That was so close. Oh, a dude clean been, almost I died from so that. Yup. 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 No yep. like, and also keep in mind, if if uh, if clean dies there. All of the sudden, it gets way more open to be the number one kills, which yeah. is one of the juiciest prizes that you can get. Because first of all, to get there, you're getting 20 gifted subs for each of those kills. Uh, basically, you're in a situation where you know you know you pulled down three kills to get that one. So, yeah, like you put earlier, 160 subs. My gear locations. Is hot. What do you think? It is hot. I'm ready I for it. Be scared. All right, let's have to turn on locations. Everyone, turn yep. on location. Turn on location. Okay, boys. Oh, boy. Fandy just said, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I, I, I'm not 100% sure if that was what she said, but it looks oh, like it. Yeah, yeah, make sure you have it turned on. Does Fandy have it turned on? Uh, she, and, uh, She's doing it right now. Okay, I, I just, I, some people don't know I how. I could have been a BM hunter. Okay. Okay. Jeez. Now, all of a sudden, it's an all out oh, war. Oh, there's she, Fandy right there. She Fandy just gets right a couple there. shots in. Going up against uh, up against Locus. Uh oh. Uh oh. She does have the advantage here because she has the better bow. She does, but Shokas has some really clean shots. Yeah. But a, a oh, great a good one. Gray Dwarf bodyguard for protecting Fandy. That Gray Dwarf oh man just God, killed look the at her health. She's at five health. I swear to God, if Fandy gets away again, I swear to God. Fandy, the undying. God. Are you and kidding me? Is he going to get the shot off? Is he going to get the shot off? He got I'm her. dead. He gets her. That's going to be 20 gifted subs. Two Shokas. Fandy managed to live through so many different situations. Fandy wow. had way more than nine lives throughout the entirety of this tournament. Now, but now keep in mind, Shokas is going to get that crude bow, right? Yep. He's going to get the bow. So now we have Shokas with a crude bow. So he's going to have the advantage in the range fight. And we got two porcupines out as well. Yeah. Drops have not stopped. This Clean and Aurora already a, Like, this is actually a really good breakdown. We have one person with one of the best bows in the game. Both of the other people have two of the best melee weapons in the game. That's where she this could on. go anywhere. Oh. Oh, it okay. really so could. It this really could. could go anywhere. All right, they know each other's locations as well. 
Oh, oh yeah, you can fucking ATI did, them. Everything's that's fine. So funny. Wait, did you, oh, did you, yeah, did you, did you hear a claim just notice? Oh, what did he say? He, he noticed that somebody fell almost, into his trap bro, and didn't almost, die. Almost. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, almost. Dude, so I funny. can't wait until he sees <laughs> that clip. Oh, I can't wait until he sees that clip. Let's go. Fuck. That's honestly one of my favorite moments from the tournament. I just, I was kind of feeling pressured for time. Okay. Oh, man, that's so um, fucking well, funny, I mean, dude. they know where each other are. Uh, I, I think great. that they're all converging here <laughs> in the meadows. Uh, it looks like we're gonna be we're gonna be going like, down for a hell? showdown like, pretty quick here. We've got clean, just got comfort. I think he's going here out for blood. I feel like this might actually be the end of the tournament here, boys. It looks uh, like, yeah, we got all three of them potentially converging on top of each other. Everybody has their own strengths. We got two porcupines, and we have one of the deadliest bows in the game. If Shokas can manage to keep that space and just kind of volleying in the shots where while everybody else is meleeing, maybe he will be able to take that next kill. Uh, maybe he will be able to hit someone when they're a little bit weaker. Keep in mind as well, if if we do see our Mora take down clean, she's going to just have so much gear at her disposal as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, whoever kills Queen is probably going to win the tournament. Uh, I, I would assume so, if, if Queen doesn't win himself. Like, because Queen has the uh, he, he has the mace, which is good, but he also has the uh, the harpoon. The armor. If he's able to harpoon armor, somebody yeah. into the mace, especially if he's able to harpoon uh, Shokas, who doesn't have a porcupine, it's basically GG. Like, I, I would be surprised if it wasn't. I'm curious how the, the the dynamic of adding in that location right, is actually going beginning. to affect everybody because uh, you, you hear clean say the convergence begins but also we are going to be doing another yeah, drop another drop with, with a, a porcupine. third porcupine okay all right Wait, third porcupine oh, oh look and it's kind of like right so it is going to be uh -oh. in an area right now shokas looks like he might just be a little bit closer we might just have the battle of the porcupines oh my god okay Everybody's got the mace. All well, right. if, if he gets there, if he gets there, if he gets there first. Fandy's in the Fandy's in the chat right now. Fandy, you you made it through so many uh situations where we thought for sure. Yeah, well, you, you let's were going, be honest, Fandy, you should have been dead way earlier. I, I dude, you did great, Fandy. You did yeah. great. Shokas uh, managed was, to get the porcupine. It's it's porcupine on porcupine, oh all out God. warfare. Oh my fucking god. Okay. All right, let's see where this is going to go. He's got a porcupine too. Oh, it looks like Queen's already is getting ready to start shooting. Everybody's about to get together. This is going to be uh this is the finale. It might look like boys. We'll see how this is going to go. If Clean gets another kill. If Clean gets another kill. Keep in mind. another kill. He he secures 100 subs. A hundred, a hundred. Yeah, it would be a hundred total. I, I gave out twenty already. Those were the only twenty that I gifted. Yep. So he's gonna be getting a whole bunch of subs. Okay, boys. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. Getting in close. Uh oh. Oh, there's a hit right there on Queen. Queen already going down to half health. This is not good. He's running away as fast as he can. His health regen doesn't happen while he's still got the poison debuff. Uh, who's that? Oh, look at that. God, Amora is just thing. closing in on him. She's probably about to get the boat. Oh, she's getting out the harpoon. She's getting out the harpoon. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be the hit. Oh, oh my gosh. She's going in again. She, this time she's going to be putting out a show with the bow. That was close. Armora has gotten the drop on clean two times now. She's getting so close to actually being able to get that kill for herself. Now keep in mind, that would make it possible for her. To, oh, oh, getting close now with the pork combined. Is she going to be able to get the melee? She comes up behind him, gets in a couple of shots. She runs out of stamina. That's a big hit. Look at that. Oh, Shokas might be out of the game here. Shokas might be out of the game here. He's at 10 health. One oh, shot, he's dead. One shot, he's dead. Queen ran out of stamina. Shokas so uh, apparently he's ran out of latency. So and so he might be able to get away here. We'll see what happens. One hit, he's dead, though. It, one hit, and he's dead.
Yeah, I, I thought I, I screwed up for a few seconds there. Sorry about that, Chad. I, I actually thought that the shots were coming in from a different player, but it is going to be clean who looks for the kill onto Shokas. This is not looking good for Shokas at all. You think again, Shokas, I don't think has his rested buff. Oh my no, god! No, oh, they're they're over there! Him. They're team it's over for Shokas. Oh no. The harpoon oh, no, connected no, for a no, second. No, 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 no. Armor immediately goes down. Oh my god. We actually need to watch again to see who got that kill. The clean got it is what we're hearing from production right now, which Jesus. means clean is going to have the top kills. Can he be the last person standing as well as he closes that gap onto Shokas? That gray dwarf definitely helped. Oh, Shokas gets the hit on well. with the poison arrow, but all Queen has to do is get one hit with this porcupine and he's dead. The joke is one hit on this porcupine and he's dead. Uh, I feel like this no, is going to go to clean. I'm pretty yeah. sure it will. It there took it two hits, but clean gets yeah. it done. Let's go! Clean oh, up. Fucking champion! How many? Let's go, dude! How many kills was that? <laughs> that was uh, five, I uh, think. Epic, dude. Did I win? Is five kills. Is there one more? Wait, did he get it? Four what? kills. What? Four kills. Because, uh... What? Wait, who got the other kill? Was it Sequisha who oh, got the other kill? Am I, am I, is that I'm trying to remember who got the other kill. Oh, it was Shokas got the kill on Fandy. Shokas got the kill on Fandy. So, Clean got majority Jeez. of the kills, top kills, and last man. person standing. <laughs> that is a right, lot. Was right on the a gas lot gas of subs. Right? Huge congratulations to Clean and a big thank you. Yeah, sure. We're gonna get clean in the call with us right now oh, to actually good. talk to clean a little bit about uh, how uh, he was able to do it. Yo, I think we got clean in here already. Yo, congratulations, clean. Is he in? Yeah, yeah, I think he's in, but I'm pretty yeah, sure they bad. have given permission to talk. No, you're fine, clean. Congratulations on getting uh, yeah, congrats, dude. Four kills, Thanks, guys. top kills, and also uh, being the last person standing. I just kind of want to ask for anybody who maybe hasn't gotten to watch your stream already. Asmund and I actually were just like watching Valheim and started watching you a whole bunch. Uh, you've been playing a whole bunch. Uh, you've been playing on PvP servers as well, right? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm actually uh, working with some of the developers for the Valheim Plus mod to make like proper like open world PvP mods because my goal for my 50 man server is I really want to bring like old school, like OG nostalgia vibes like an MMO where people yeah, create re right, relationships yeah, and you know, reputation for themselves, whether that's like as a hero, a traitor, a bandit, whatever. And uh, it's actually working really, really well so far. And uh, we got a lot of stuff coming in the pipe pretty soon that I'm really excited about. That is fucking awesome, man. Like, that is so cool. So it's going to be capped at 50 players? Uh, no, I want to try and push it to 100. Uh, I, I just, would I, love to see that. I, man. I, I, I got, like, we stay capped usually from 40 to 50 players, no problem, uh, during the evenings. And it runs fine. The only time it breaks was in, is, like, there's a lot of physics going on and a lot of players... Um, or there's like a lot of AI and a lot of players, but I did like a whitelist and everything. Everybody on there, it has like really low ping. The server's in Texas. Um, and you know, it's uh, really centralized for the most part. That's awesome. And so, uh, you said you were working with developers. Do they have any sort of an update? Obviously we saw a lot of lag and things like that. Uh, uh so not, yeah. not the actual Valheim developers, the Valheim plus developers, they run like the top mod on All right. All right. Okay. I don't, I don't know anybody at Valheim. Uh, so you're just trying to make do with whatever, whatever you can. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, like we're already working on a bunch of mods to increase the performance and make things run better. Yeah, um, I've heard about that. We tried doable. to download one for this tournament, actually. Really? Yeah, it was yeah. the uh, the data bit, uh, the data bit went rate one. I, I have that on my server as well. I, I'd have to go with the production crew and ask them, but I think okay. that might be what it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. But my kind of question for you too is in like uh, obviously we we did a pretty. Uh, interesting format. We tried to go for something that, you know, we had the drops. We tried to make it as fun as possible just to try things out for the first right. time. Uh, but when you see like like that end game PvP, when you have like those giant PvP servers, what does the meta actually tend to look like? So right now there's no private hive. The meta is just people swapping in and out of their private servers or the single player worlds and just bringing in gear. And so like one of our main uh -huh. goals right now is to create a private hive with the character and the inventory. So that way people can't server hop. Um, and right now, like meta is just, I yeah. mean, obviously best in slot gear, you know, porcupine, what you guys just spawned in here, what it killed everybody with. Um, and like the PvP is like, it's fun, but like the combat has a lot of work, but the game itself is like supposed to be pretty simple in design. And that's one of the reasons why I think a lot of people like it. Uh, Absolutely. And, and, you know, the combat is, is fine for where it is, but if they really want to like potentially update it more and really bring more like life into the combat, they could definitely improve it a ton. Yeah, it reminded me a little bit of New World. I don't know if you played that as well, where it's like kind bit. of, yeah, yeah, pretty simple combat. But I do think with like a couple of different like uh, changes in like depth, 
kind of like what I saw you, you, you were using the secondary attack with the battle axe, right? Uh, there is no secondary attack. It's actually just oh, like the really? L1 Okay, combo. I never yeah. even noticed that. Okay. So I don't you think just have to it. keep attacking. Oh, wait, no, it does have a secondary. It has like a poke, which is like a kick. I honestly totally forgot about that. Okay, yeah. I've actually, the funny thing is, I've literally never used the battle axe. Like, whenever, I just assumed that it sucked. And it's, then whenever you it's, instantly it's, kill that yeah. guy, I was amazed. Yeah, it's all well, the, the, on the, the third hit of every like combo. So, like the one, two, three, the third attack is always going to be the strongest. Yeah, so that's what I hit. That's what I hit Sequisha and the other guy with. I just fucking like right over the head, squished him. Wow, ton of damage. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So I, I just also to to give you a, a little bit of a shout out for anybody who's you know maybe seeing you for the first time in this tournament. Uh, besides Valheim, are there any other games that you're streaming? What's your streaming schedule look like? Just so everybody. Uh, can I honestly it? don't really stream on a schedule. I actually recently took a really big break to do variety because I was dealing with a lot of the pressure of like you know maintaining numbers and streaming my main game, which is Escape from Tarkov, mm -hmm. and. Oh. I just I, I found uh, I found Valheim and I was just like I started playing. It. I'm like, holy fuck, this game's awesome. And it just captivated the shit out of me. And it's one of the few games in years that I put over 100 hours into. Um, but I've just been doing a lot of variety lately and just kind of been chilling on that and just enjoying Valheim and just enjoying different stuff. But uh, people know me for Tarkov mainly. That's awesome, man. Like it really is, especially like no knowing that, you know, taking that leap from like your main game. I mean, I, you know, I'm a streamer. I have, I've got like kind of a main game as well. So of course. I, I know the struggle for that. And then coming into this other game and, and popping off. That's really cool. Congratulations. Yeah. The, the trap, dude. The trap. Yeah. Dude, dude, I, I was so happy it worked, dude. I was hoping yeah. I'm like, man, I yeah. hope somebody falls in that shit and dies, but they didn't die. But I'm just happy it worked. It was wild. It like it was so wild. You should have seen. I, I'm sure you'll see the clip. But uh, Shoka's face when he fell into the trap. He he was like, "What on earth just happened?" Oh, <laughs> uh, it's so good. I was hoping somebody was gonna try and go rest there. You know, yeah. cozy little home. Nothing suspicious. You know. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Fuck trap. No. Totally <laughs> normal. Absolutely, completely normal. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think that obviously, like, this is our first tournament that we've ever done. But I, I feel like in general, it went really well. Uh, I agree. It, it was good. Yeah. We'll have to work on on the fine points and maybe do another one. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot for competing, man. Yeah, and, yeah guys, uh, thank you guys for doing the win. Thank you. Appreciate you guys setting this up. And just thanks for Absolutely. including me. Of course. The Thanks again. And yeah, everybody, be sure to definitely check out uh, everybody's stream who is involved. I'm uh, going to show really quick just everybody who's involved to give them a, a shout out just one more time so you guys can watch all of their streams. You know, Asmin and I really, you know, I... I wasn't even going to play Valheim. And Vasman was like, dude, I love this game so much. I completely fell off the deep end with it and it just had so much fun. And I, I want to thank Asmin for, you know, helping me so much to actually put this tournament together and everybody who joined because what we put this tournament together in like a week about. Yeah, about a, and by we, we mostly also mean the production team. Yep. So uh, uh, please keep that in mind. Uh, they did an incredible job. So a huge shout out to them. A lot of the people, too, who competed in the tournament, they probably had, you know, three, two to three days heads up and they were all just like down to jump in and, and just have some fun. So a huge shout out to them. And then on the production side, Wajito, thank you for everything that you did with the, the server. We wouldn't have been able to do it uh, if it wasn't for you. Uh, Pecky's built out the entire show. Thank you for making this possible by doing all of that uh, behind the scenes for so many of the OTK shows already, making a lot of them possible. Big shout out to JP for making everything look so beautiful as well and also a big shout out to corporate for for doing so much for the stream and you know uh, it was a lot of fun to get to do this before uh, Asmin comes back to streaming as well uh, man I, I had a lot of fucking fun man yeah uh, thanks a lot for watching guys this went really well um, I, I do think we should talk a little bit about the drops and kind of go through all of that now that we've kind of wrapped everything up uh, but yeah I mean Basically, uh, the reason why we wanted to drop the in-game uh, weapons and everything is because because it's so easy to disengage from a fight in Valheim, it makes it really hard for us to, like, let's say we dropped the full set of padded armor, which is the strongest armor in the game. That would have made the porcupine do about 70% less damage, which would have effectively just kind of uh, reduced the pacing of the entire event. And so the idea of the weapons is to increase the pacing of the event. And whenever the weapons and the armor is all equal, the combat in the game is extremely slow. 
And because obviously as a tournament, our goal is to make it somewhat exciting. We thought the one way we could focus on making things more exciting is to focus on the power of players rather than the defense of players. And I do think at the end of the match, uh, everybody pretty much had a fair shot. We had two people with porcupines. The third guy had a really good bow. And uh, I think everything was pretty much fair. Also, I, I think that Clean had really good map awareness. He took off his weapons and he was running as fast as he can, maintaining his rested buff. That's how he got to those different uh, th those different drops as fast as possible. It's not yeah. necessarily uh, rigged or anything like that. Uh, it's just a fact of taking advantage of opportunities that you're given. Yeah, and also, you know, this was the first time doing the Valheim tournament. Like, it was, uh, it, it was a huge risk for us, and also we put uh, a lot of different things. Yeah. Uh, we tried a lot of different things, like even to try to prevent lag and all these things, but we loved this game so much that we wanted to do it. And uh, we also didn't want the tournament to go on for like eight hours, right? Uh, because obviously everybody who gave us a bunch of time away from doing their normal streams to be involved, yep. we wanted it to be uh, around four hours. And also we wanted everybody who was watching to be as involved as possible. So that was why we wanted to try to do the drops where everybody could vote. All yeah, I think all, the drops turned out really well, honestly. Yeah. I, I do. I, I think it would have been really cool if we had done a Frostner, at, at, at like alternating Frostners and Porcupines, and not just Porcupines. That would have been cool. But at the end of the day, everything was fine, right? It was pretty much fine regardless. Um, but yeah, the reason uh, I think the first two hours exist is so people can build up uh, food buffs. Uh, they can build up their armor and things like that and i think that also especially if we do another tournament like this we can kind of develop it with that in mind to where players can actually focus more on developing their armor and then the drops at the end will have the stronger weapons in them and i think yeah. that could also uh you know sure up some expectations as well so I, I think awesome. um, I, I think we, we can, we'll definitely try to do another one of these. I think the the main problem that definitely want to fix is just getting better with the lag, uh, and that's something you know with more and more time and as the game's out longer and longer, yeah. like that that can be changed. And then a lot of things with the format, you know, can kind of look at. We were uh, Wajito even had mentioned. You know, what if we only did like one hour start instead of the two hour start? But we had already put the rules out. So to keep everything as fair as we could after we had already told everybody it was going to be two hours. That was why we went for the two hours. I do think one hour uh, could potentially be good as well. But yeah, there, there, there's also the potential to do group play uh, after we figure out different things with the lag. There's potential to do group play with a longer start time and, and have two bases getting built next to each other. The, the possibilities for this game are truly endless and i think that's one of the reasons that so many people who have played it haven't just played it they've no lifed it and put in yeah. hundreds of hours so like uh, i'm mad at this game because i ran out of content like, yeah I, I, yeah I ran out of content i i would really like to have more things to do uh that would be uh, incredible and um obviously we want to have your feedback as well and so if there's something that you guys would like to see change something different for the next one uh let us know i uh, probably otk subreddit would probably be a good place i mean you yep. can just tweet it at us i mean we talk about it in general anyway so basically any way that you would normally contact one of us would be fine Yep. And uh, also, I, I do want to say we have a bunch of stuff coming up, not just more Valheim stuff. We have a bunch of stuff coming up uh, on OTK. So definitely uh, join that Discord. Be sure to join the subreddit as well. I know Asmin is coming back to streaming. So that means that I'm going to be back to my normal stream schedule as well, which is right after he's done. So I'll be sure to see you guys there when you have nowhere else to go. I'm really looking forward to that. And also with Asmin coming back, I know one of the other things that I'm really excited for is to actually bring back all craft and we're going to have some really cool announcements for what we're going to be doing with all craft for our third season of the show after i think three it's been three or four years now that we've been doing that show yeah so something excited like that. That. it's been yeah. quite a while we've been doing it for a very long time that's how asman and i met it's one of the reasons that otk uh even exists right we wouldn't have known each other uh before that happened and that's why shows like this are so much fun got to meet a lot of uh new folks today who were involved in the valheim tournament who were already involved in the valheim community excited to do more with them in the future whether it's uh future valheim tournaments or if it's some new games that come out as well but be sure to stay tuned to everything uh with otk because we're going to be making an announcement for uh 
I'm not going to tease anything too much, but uh, there's going to be a really big event coming up soon. I'll just say yeah. that right now. If we could production too, uh, Peckies, if we could show everybody just uh, the, the faces of all the folks who were in the tournament in general. Uh, Sequisha, big, big thank you for being in the tournament. One of the first times I've gotten to talk to him. I know Asmin, you knew him uh, ahead of time. Shokas for coming. Uh, Shokas is somebody that Tips actually knew ahead of time. I'm really excited to have gotten to meet him. Stay safe. Uh, thank you. Been a friend for a very long time armora absolute god it was great to get to see armora uh play uh at that high level clean uh gonna be gifting clean quite a few subs yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's yeah. just over. uh annie did a, did a great job as well annie fanny and kala three folks that you know we've known for a very long time from the wow community be sure to show them all love on their streams and also i want to thank you everybody who came here and supported this stream thank you everybody who watched thank you everybody who followed the stream as well thank you guys for all the support yeah you guys uh you guys make it possible and uh we really appreciate it so thank you guys all so much First, as far as we know, ever Valheim tournament, and I think it did really well. Yep, and so, uh, uh, I, I think we'll, we'll come up with some new formats that we might try to do in the future. And also, you know, as Clean mentioned, there's some really big servers starting to form. So if you guys want more action like that, I'm sure there's going to be no shortage at all. And yeah, I, I think now we'll do what we do at the end of every show. We'll play that thank you card and we'll run a big fat ad. And then after that, uh, we're, we're going to throw out that host. I just want to say thank you guys for for everything. This was a whole bunch of fun. Really wanted to do it. Thank you again to everybody who made it possible. And Aspen, thanks for, for jumping in, doing a weird show with me. It wasn't weird at all. It was very fun. Thanks for having me. And we'll probably do this again. Thank you, everybody. We will see you guys soon. <laughs>